Well, he just barrel bombed the bugs. G'day mates and welcome to Starship Troopers, Terran Command. We're glowing in the dark tonight. I already really enjoy the intro music to this, but more than anything, it just reminds me of the best song of all time. Yeah, if you've ever played Colonial Marines, you've probably heard this song. In fact, I think it's my donation sound on Twitch. Anyway, let's get into playing this. So I've been given access to the demo, which will be out by the time this video comes out. It's out on uh, October 1st for Next Fest, I think is the name. Uh, we're going to start with the little video, and then we've got three missions to play through. Turns out the video is just a tutorial, so I've learned all that now, and let's get into the first mission. We're on Kamalusha. Our ultimate objective is the pacification of the planet, and to make sure the mining of vital minerals proceeds without major interruptions. The Battle of Klandathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope, as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Kualasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quelasha from any insect aggression. Listen up, Lieutenant. Oh dear. <laughs> it reminds me weirdly enough of Total War in a sense, like the actual uh, movement mechanics. You can notice how the, uh, here we go. See they, how, how like the units kind of form up? And you'll notice now my guys behind these guys can't fire because they're actually, uh, they've got no line of sight onto the target. You can shoot over each other's heads though, which again is reminding me of Total War. Ooh, I love the British line tactics against bugs. God, this reminds me a lot of that other game. What was it? It was the, um, it was called, was it literally called Alien Hive? Ooh. Attack fighter strike incoming. <laughs> well, he just barrel bombed the bugs. Didn't realize I was playing Syrian warfare. Oh yeah, they're, they're just they're just eating civilians. Oh god. Orders from command require you to confiscate all civilian weapons. What? Oh, I always knew I was a fed. Oh my guys just got Oh my god, he got cut in half. Oh my god, he's crawling. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, hang. All right, hold on. Sorry guys, you're being sacrificed cuz I want to see some more of the death poses. Oh my god, that ripped his leg off. Wow. Uh, that, that, that poor man. Oh my god. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to pull you guys back. You guys are kind of getting torn up. Here, let them have the flames, would you? Whoo. Oh, I like that lander. Oh, man. Oh my god. I just threw a couple of incendiary grenades out. God, that's all. Oh, I see it blocks movement. Oh, wow. I've just made like... Oh god. Oh, never mind. My engineer's getting eaten. But I've just made like uh, firewalls in the middle of the field. God, that's bloody awesome. We are about to be overwhelmed, though. I think that's actually worked against me because the bugs have now grouped up. Get a grenade out. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. We did a pretty decent crossfire. Here, let him have another grenade, would you? Surprise, we live. Oh, my God. The bugs try to climb the wall. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Here we go. Let's get some flamethrowers on there. Let's stop him from doing that. With the size of the bug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. <laughs> the mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Quilasha, God, that's its cool. Mines, and its people. Oh, you can also re... You can also shuffle your units around using the dropship. That's pretty bloody cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's get some uh, rifle troopers in. So the way the game kind of works is that you've got supplies letting you have, you know, a certain number of units. And you can have as many rifle troopers as you want. And they're, they're literally just free. Uh, but then war support is the stuff that you use for special units. Delivery platforms are like how you build your upgrade buildings. All right, you stay here, civilian. One day, maybe you too can become a citizen. Oh, I see. Okay, so the hive strength is zero and my army strength is two. But if I was to select, say, just a normal unit, now the hive, uh, army strength is 0.8. You actually have to send in a unit to go uh, clear out the hive. God damn, I got my engineers to build some HMG turrets and these things, uh... Yeah, they kind of fucking slap. Holy shit. They can overheat though if they have to keep firing forever. So that's why I've got this, um... Um... You 
You doing good there, buddy? Oh, hell yeah, I've got some elite rifle troopers now. Can either use a boom bundle or a shotgun salvo. Ooh. Ooh, shotgun salvo, yes please. The logical solution to the bugs learning how to spit at us is just to requisition sniper rifles. God, the scopes on those are huge. Mate, he's really not that far away. You could probably do with iron sights. <laughs> I love that the rifle troopers are equipped with the Marita assault rifle, and the shotgun guys, they use the underslung shotgun of the Marita, and, uh, and then the snipers used the scope Marita assault rifle, thinking that the author might have quite enjoyed the XM8 program. Oh god, run! I decided to try the boom bundle! Holy shit, that's just a fucking nuke! Oh my god, that's good! Alright, uh, someone's gotta go kick in the door. Go in, combat engineers. Burn them out. This is a pretty bloody cool defense. Uh, hang on, let's send these guys. Oh, do I want to send them? Hmm. These guys are the only guys I'm not sure what I want to do with. Let's maybe put infantry here and then send combat engineers to the right. There we go. Yo, barrel bombs once again. This gives me like a they are billions kind of vibe at times, which I really enjoy. Um, although, I, ironically, I didn't actually like they are billions that much, but uh, similar games of its stature, again, like that Alien Hive game. I do quite enjoy. The spitter bugs annoy me. I would be able to get through that with no casualties if it weren't for the damn spitter bugs. Qualashians take great pride in their planet's mining industry. Through sweat of brow, valiant colonists dig up the precious minerals the Federation needs. It's an ore effort for the war effort. And they're not <laughs> going to let a few bugs oh, scare them I love off. that. The mobile infantry has begun escorting workers, many of them patriotic volunteers back into the mines so they can keep excavating the future of humanity. It looks like near constant bug attacks come from the uh, southeast and we have to go and get all these mines working again, which are currently full of bugs. We're literally taking the bugs out and stuffing the workers right back in. We're sending the first group of miners into shaft one. Secure, my ass. This place has more bugs than a Shreveport picnic in July. Oh gee, I wonder how those are gonna go. Is acceptable. Mm. Mining operations have been delayed long enough. We need more time. Damn it. Uh, I, I, I mean, I mean, I can see a bug beneath that cut, and and they're all dead. There's been an incident at the mine. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Was it bugs? The bugs I said were definitely. <laughs> Something I find interesting about this game, just from like an actual games mechanic RTS perspective, is the fact that you don't actually pay for your units at all. The only thing that matters is how many of them you have. So all that matters once they die is me just calling more in and going back up to my cap again. Honestly, I think it's pretty thematic and I actually kind of like it. I'm, it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays and how like the challenge will go into it. You are still rewarded for keeping your units alive with experience and elite abilities. Uh, I wouldn't say they're insanely good. They're like, they're okay. I think if anything, they should be a bit better to try and, you know, warrant you to really want to keep your guys alive. Oh, God. The, why are the mining shuttles coming in before I've cleared the mines? Oh, God. Guys, please just don't run at the mine. It's full of bugs. It is... I'm just... I'm actively trying to stop. Please. Oh, no. Guys, we're right next to you. Just, just stop running at the mine, please. You can see the bugs. Oh. Need a little more encouragement to get on board. Jesus. I think a lot of the difficulty is going to come from the objectives, like I'm having right now, where uh, I'm desperately trying to stop the uh, the bloody guys from killing themselves. And that's basically the main uh, struggle I'm facing. Miners, please! Alright, I'm restarting this one. I'm going for some major cheese tactics this time by activating the uh, comms base quite early. Oh wow, I've actually like sequence broken the game. The miners haven't even died yet and they're already telling me to protect the miners. Yes. Wait a second, did I did I sequence break it fully? No, I did not. Oh dear god. I actually sequence broke myself in the point of hurting my own success. Oh dear god. I'm literally doing an anti-speed run. Fuck. Oh, I see. I think the moment I got the bloody radio posts online, the air sh the dropships started dropping in. So actually, I was screwing myself by pushing for the uh, bases early. It's a bad idea, if anything. So if I actually want to sequence break the game, I just go to the mines first. God, I'm genius. All right, now that we've successfully broken that sequence, let's actually go trigger the objective now. Oh yeah, we actually have the HMG turrets at the base now, which are bloody awesome. All right. There we go. Clear the next mine before losing 15. Easy job done. See? I did it. I did it. 
Ah, I'm bloody awesome. Oh, that's cool. So I can assign a drop zone. All right, sure. Let's get those guys over to here and get them helping out. Oh my god. Wow, they're breaking through the walls here. Insufficient Quick. Command points. Call in aid. Oh, Jesus. All units are under attack. Excellent. Disembark directly into bugs. It's all right. Your bodies will be used to block their attack. To be quite serious, I'm not being paid for this or anything, uh, but holy shit, I really, really, really like this game so far. It's not like it's completely blown my fucking mind, but it's just a really quite good RTS, and I fucking adore RTSs and we don't get enough of them, and it's fun to play them. It is missing multiplayer or co-op, which would be fucking awesome. It's one of the main things I love playing with my mates is, you know, playing cooperative RTSs or playing, you know, PvP RTSs. I know, obviously, PvP as the bugs probably wouldn't work that great, but, I mean, you could do a quite cool asymmetric uh, style game with it. I know a lot of old Warcraft custom maps and stuff used to do that, where you would play asymmetric bug versus sort of defender style human, you know, that kind of thing. But either way, I just really enjoy this. I hope the full game will have a lot more challenge and like sort of variety to it. I can't wait to see uh, vehicles, hopefully. That'd be fucking sick. Calling in airstrikes and such, you know, unit variety. I love that sort of stuff. It, it's just really quite fun so far. I'm really just enjoying the game. I was, I was in this mission was the kind of thing where I was going to say like, I don't know how they're going to make it challenging if you can just spawn units freely and then the bugs didn't stop coming. And I realized it didn't really matter whether I can spawn units freely. I've still got to, you know, you've still got to be quite careful with the positioning and, uh, and sort of where you assign your fronts because you can get overwhelmed quite easily. Your units are not that strong. I imagine that most campaign missions will involve some sort of time thing where it's, you need to work quickly or else blank, you know, or else you'll lose the mission, you know? That'll probably enforce most of the difficulty of this game as defending a base, as long as you're just defending the base is probably gonna be pretty easy if you can just keep calling in units. Let's put one of those drop zones down. Oh, that's really helpful. All right, easy. See, I can just reinforce my entire army from this mobile drop zone. Oh shit, hopper bugs. The fuck do they do? Hop? I guess? Oh shit. Wow, they die easy, thank god. Still, goddamn. All right, so they're flying bugs that I guess land to attack us. Jesus, the spitter bugs really tear you up. Oh, the hoppers ain't great either. Oh, God, we're gonna have to retreat from here, aren't we? Oh, God. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. It ain't nice. It ain't nice to be here. All right, I came back with a slightly bigger army. God damn, they impact the dirt pretty bloody hard. Another large arachnid attack is heading for our base. Bro, bad timing for that. I've just taken my entire army out of the base. Can, can you rethink the arachnid attack, please? Thankfully, I have a solution. If my men simply die in combat, they can respawn at base. I send enough of my own men at the kill bots until they hit their preset kill limit and shut down. <sighs> and the final objective is retaken. Nice work. All right, thank you all for watching. That was Starship Troopers Terran Command. I just really enjoyed that. That was great fun. I want to see some missions that add a bit more choice and variability to you know, what you're doing. And God, those mechs. Mmm, yeah, baby. I don't know, just like, you know, sort of... Variety what you're doing, because those were obviously pretty set tutorial missions, but at least the last tutorial mission was, or last demo mission rather, was decently dynamic compared to the other two, which were literally just, you know, go here, do this tutorial missions. I don't know, I'm just really happy playing a sci-fi like again after Rest in Peace Warhammer, GW, you're a piece of shit. Uh, it just, I just, God, I'm just so fucking happy to be playing this stuff again. And I don't know, it's just, there's something about like the upbeat, like ridiculous nature of Starship Troopers that just makes me love it so much. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of like the opposite of every grimdark universe of like, oh, it's terrible and humanity's on the brink. And this one's like, humanity's literally just so happy to be soldiers. Like, fuck yeah, we love it. Yeah, become a citizen. I'm, I'm doing, doing my, my part. part. And you should do yours. All right, until next time, everyone. Farewell.